as it was in the first half and the inside line have got to stay inside with a bit more movement bring Milan to centre forward again if they need to bring to centre yeah. forward and bring it back into the corner again and keep that Kilkenny back line guessing uh, Michael Rice you saw there a moment ago on your screen by the way is now wearing jersey number 30 for this second half an attendance of 31,634 here at Croke Park all set to go for the second half let me hand you back to Joe Canning and Michael Dignam. Thank you, Michael. Well, Jamie Nagel has come on in place of Declan, o Declan Prendergast at left half back for Waterford. That's another change. And you mentioned the other changes already, Michael. So, six between them. Start of the second half. Waterford now trying to rescue their season here and stay in the championship. Kilkenny looking to get here for the uh, big match on the first Sunday in September. Can Waterford deny them? Kevin Moran made a lot of ground. That's taken in there by Noel Hickey back out here to Michael Fennelly huge run down towards Richie Parr runs on there Liam Lawler does well slipping the little hand pass out here gathered in by Tony Brown that's Jamie Nagel well blocked by Michael Rice as you say now wearing number 30 as Henry Shefflin hits it and fires it over the bar that's his first point to come from play, and it's his fourth point of the match. And this was the block down here, Michael Rice against Jamie Nagel. And what happened immediately after that is the ball was sent over the bar by Henry Shefflin. Four for the day for him, 2-11 to 1-7 from the puck out. It's uh, JJ Delaney flicking it inside, now trying to take it back there from Brian Hogan. And the Kilkenny captain, the O'Loughlin Wells player. Avoiding the hook of the block, but stepping out over the line, and a line ball to Waterford. Who are trying to summon as much intensity as possible now, and you can hear Davy Fitzgerald down there on the sideline, their manager, urging them on. Yeah, but Jerry, you know, they need to move the ball quicker. Liam Lawler came out with that ball, won a great ball, all he needs to do is clear it up the field, went for the short hand pass again, ended up getting blocked down and over the bar. I'd just like to see them striking the ball when they get the chance first time. So it'll be Shane O'Sullivan who will take this. That's the 65-metre line from the Kilkenny end line. And Paul Murphy came racing out for this one and delivers the pass downfield. Down towards Richie Hogan. Brother Paddy playing as well now, and that just might get inside the right-hand post. The umpires look at it and say no, went the other way instead. So first wide of the second half for Kilkenny, who had seven wides in the first half. Under this dropping ball, taking it down very smartly is Kevin Moran. And that has gone away to the left-hand side. So cursing his luck, Kevin Moran hasn't scored so far in the battle there in midfield, where Michael Fennelly has very much been the dominant player for Kilkenny. And it's super catch and you know, an unusual wide for Kevin Moran. He has been notching three, four points a game in the last couple of games, and a bad wide. And they need to be putting away those chances now to stay in the game. Kilkenny are just drifting away. Oh, and Larkin breaking it down from the puck out and trying to advance. Losing it, Tony Brown now. Slipped inside here, Shane O'Sullivan dropping it away into the half forward line, but it's gathered in by Jackie Tyrrell. Down it goes. Once again, the full back here, Shane, uh, Liam Lawler, and passing it out as far as Shane O'Sullivan. Going long towards Owen Kelly this time, had an easier pass to give to Seamus Prendergast, but gave it to Kelly instead, who fires it, and the breeze doesn't do him any favours and it sways across to the right-hand side, once again wide of the target. Five wides for Waterford now in this match, but still they trail 2-11 to 1-7. Short puck out taken by Kilkenny. Nobody marking Paul Murphy. And the corner back fires it away down towards Richie Parr. Gone into full forward now, runs on beyond him. Noel Connors coming across here, running into the challenge of Michael Rice, but beats that. Colin Fennelly next to try and impede the progress of Connors. And the young man from Passage gets it into the middle here to Porik Mahoney, the Bally Gunner player. On as far as John Mallard, goal scorer in the first half for Waterford. Seamus Prendergast next in the link. Going by with a lot of determination. More shoulders coming up, Jackie Turrell a little half-hearted. Back it comes here towards Milan. Tries to break his way through the eye of a needle, it seems. Looking for a support player, it was Kelly, who missed it. Comes in towards... Kevin Moran battling away in there and a real scramble for possession Seamus Prendergast gives a little ball outside here to Shane Welch little block on it, good play still it's there for the taking and finally Jackie Terrell emerging 
little flick inside towards Michael Fenley to end the uncertainty from his, from his own 45 metre line. Hit it straight there at Michael Brick Welch. Up towards Forrick Mahoney again. Michael Brick Welch, by the way, in case you've been following the earlier incident where he changed helmets, he's gone back to his blue helmet once again. Liam Lawler now. Clever ball as far as Shane O'Sullivan got loose. Tries to get away now from Owen Larkin. Waterford trying to play it incrementally forward. Kilkenny able to mix the short with the long. Henry Shefflin in over Colin Fennelly's head. Clinton Hennessy required. Jamie Nagel now to help out. Feeding it along the line there. Kevin Moran trying to keep it in play there with Paddy Hogan. Nine ball to Kilkenny. Yeah, all a little bit claustrophobic, Jerry. You know, little short passes and you know both teams losing their shape a little bit, particularly Waterford. Um, there when uh, Shane, o or Shane O'Sullivan got that ball, he looked up the field. There was nobody to pass the ball. Everybody was had drifted out the field, so they need to hold their shape inside in the full forward. Now. Henry Shefflin after uh, five minutes, which has probably been the least productive of the match so far. Tommy Welch, still Welch, and still Tommy Welch going after it, but eventually outnumbered, weight of numbers counting against him. Dara Fives, big one down, taken by Jackie Turrell. Swung around there by Owen Kelly, free out, and the referee is uh, determined that there will be a free taken. Owen Kelly pleading his innocence, referee noting this foul, and it was a, a kick or a trip there. And a yellow card has been issued to Owen Kelly. So the two men wearing the corner forward numbers for Waterford, John Milan, Owen Kelly, both of them seeing yellow. Free to be taken by David Herity, who's waited a long time to get between the posts. Comes in, of course, as uh, a replacement for PJ Ryan, former All-Star. It's uh, 11 minutes since Waterford have scored, and now they've got the possession back in their own half-back line. Kevin Moran blocked down there, and it's taken by Michael Rice. Rice still there, left it behind and out by Michael Brick Welch. Typical pass out as far as John Milan. Now Owen Kelly, can he steal a march here on his marker? Is Paul Murphy hitting it instinctively and uh, hitting it just outside? When they go over, you're a hero. When they go the near side, your side, well, you don't feel so great about it. Still 2-11 to 1-7. It's the wrong option, though, Jerry. You know, like that's at best a 50-50 chance, really. You know, that ball should have been across the square, across to Shane Walsh, who's playing well, but he's getting very little possession. Like, sort of, um, that's about three whites now since half time for Waterford, and you know, all sort of shots oh, no, that shouldn't have been taken. Jamie Nagel under pressure there from Colin Fennelly. The pressure pays off because it wasn't a good clearance. Comes towards Owen Larkin, having difficulty making any headway. Again, it's Colin Fennell, he got a point in the first half, struggling to get away from the challenge there, and the referee saw the drag back. And the referee's going to have words there now with Dara Fives, who's uh, got awfully connections. Yeah, Joachim Kelly, the former midfielder, his, his wife Anne's sister is his, mo is his mother, if you can figure that one out, so I think we're, we're going a long way down the line. <laughs> So it's got to be a free in, which Henry Shefflin will take. Just outside the 20-metre line. No great problems with the angle. And yet another flawless finish by Henry Shefflin. So five points for the day for him. And this is the reason why the free was awarded in the first half, as Dara Fives was dragging back Colin Fennelly. So far, so good for Brian Cody. Bounces down off the hands there of Seamus Prendergast. Kevin Moran tried to advance, needing a support player. It's John Milan making an angle for himself. It's a typical John Milan score. He spun around, got a little bit of latitude, drove it with uh, fierce determination and good accuracy. 1 3 for John Milan. And it's now 2 12 to 1 8. Seven points between the teams. And a change now being made, as you can see, Morris Shanahan is uh, about to come on. And the player who's gone off is Porik Mahoney. Yeah, and John Milan there, you know, a little great scorer, Gerard, but how consistent he has been over the years, you know, over, over the last decade. 
uh, averaging sort of five points a game uh, throughout that period and one three again today and you know if he got a little bit more support up front they need him corner forward they need him centre forward and uh, he can't be everywhere they need a couple of John Mallards meanwhile there's only one Michael Fenley and Michael Fenley is having a great season a third point for Michael Fenley in this match first of the second half so a gap of eight points now between the teams Interesting that Porik Mahoney has been taken off, having had a very, very good season. He's only 19 years of age, but it's not exactly a day when Kilkenny are giving too many frees away. They've been disciplined. And Henry Shefflin lording it at centre-half forward and driving it over perfectly. That's Six. a great score, Joe. JJ Delaney not picking him out. I, that's the third time in the second half I've seen Henry drifting 20 yards away from Brick Walsh. The other two occasions the ball was tucked. Uh, over his head and he wasn't happy and JJ Lenny picked him out there. Taken down by Brian Hogan from the resultant puck out. John Milan going back to Forage, now 30 years of age, working as hard as ever. Jamie Nagel didn't realise that Colin Fenley was coming to steal it from him and look at the pace of the man. Didn't hit it terribly well. I think he was in two minds, Jerry. You can see when he threw up the ball, he was going to tap it over the bar, and then he saw Richie Power inside, and then I think he changed his mind, he was going to pass it, and he didn't either at the end. There is a view that he would be better placed out at wing forward. What do you think? Yeah, he, well, he has great pace. That's where he played underage at minor and under-21 level, but I think he's in there to go for goals, and, uh, you know, you can see his pace there. He got away from his man. Kevin Moran hits this one again. He draws it into the near side, and it's another wasted chance. And Waterford now with just one point to show for 11 minutes of the second half so far. Not good enough. There were six points down at the break. From this puck out, it's Owen Larkin taking it ahead of Tony Brown. Inside towards Richie Parr. Spills loose towards Colin Fennelly. Another generation of Fennellys coming on stream, as it were. Michael Rice striking it, underhitting it. Clinton Hennessy. I don't think he got booked, by the way, for the uh, foul on Richie Hogan when Hogan got his second goal, didn't see a card anyway. Dara Fives up towards Morris Shanahan, runs beyond him. Shane Welch coming out, looking for a supply of ball, which just isn't there. Paddy Hogan instead, huge one down, down towards Richie Power, trying to balance it to himself, surrounded by Waterford backs. One of them is Noel Connors and the Tigerish Connors, a former school star. Shaping up to Richie Parr there as he won the little duel. It'll be a free out. 